guys welcome back to my channel so I'm back today with my top 10 favorite highlighters video so I'm not sure who started highlighting first or where this trend came from but it has taken the beauty community by storm over the past few years and because of that I have accumulated quite a few highlighters in my collection that I honestly can say I absolutely love and most of them actually all of these are drugstore I'm not gonna talk about these highlighters in any particular order these are all just favorites in my personal collection that I absolutely adore and they're there may be some products in this video that maybe you've tried and didn't like and that's okay. Not everything is going to work for everybody. If you do have some highlighter suggestions that you think I should try out, please leave them down below. You guys know I'm always shopping around on Sephora for new products. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. One day, Alright guys, so the very first product I have for you guys is the Hard Candy Look Pro Ultimate Strobing Kit. I did an entire video about Hard Candy and my love for some of their products oh, quite a while ago. And this product was definitely in that video because these highlighters, even though they tend to be a little on the chunkier side, I really, really like them a lot. I'm going to make sure to link all of these products down below for you guys just so you guys can go find them and buy them quickly if you like them. Alright, so the main reason why I absolutely love this palette is because of this shade right here in particular. I don't normally use this one because it's definitely more for the darker skin tones, but this highlighter is out of this world. I'm going to swatch both of them for you guys right now, so I'll go ahead and just pick this one up. These are very, very creamy in texture. They feel so, so nice and finely milled. There is some kick up, but that's generally the thing that happens when you have the much more pigmented shades and these are definitely more pigmented but these two are absolutely stunning like absolutely beautiful these kits retail for eight dollars and again I will have it linked down below Alright guys, so the next product I have for you guys is also from Hard Candy and this is their Candlelit Highlighting Duo. This product was mentioned on my Instagram, I want to say quite a few months ago actually, and I wasn't that impressed with it at first until I used it on my face and then I saw how beautiful it actually is. A lot of people have picked this product up and have tried swatching it on their arms and they become really underwhelmed because it's not that pigmented. But this is definitely a highlighter for people who like the more subtle, more glow from within kind of highlight, not a very out there highlight and we're gonna swatch it right watch how it transforms into this beautiful really really pretty natural glow it's a beautiful highlighter you just have to do some work with it all right guys so this next one is the elf studio eyeshadow in the shade moonlit serenade and yes i said eyeshadow when I first saw this on the website, I was like, that looks more like a highlight than anything else. I probably wouldn't use this as an eyeshadow, maybe outside of just my inner corner highlight. But this, these are very, very dry. They are baked eyeshadows. You can use them both wet and dry, obviously. All right, guys, so here is the finger swatch. And then here is the swatch on the back of my hand. Like, look how gorgeous that looks. These retail for $3 on the e.l.f. website, which I will have linked down below. Alright guys, so this next one is another eyeshadow. This one is from ColourPop and this is their Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Valley Girl. I'll go ahead and do a little swatch in the finger. And then here is the actual swatch. Again, another beautiful light goldish highlighter shade. Alright guys, so the next product is also from e.l.f. and this is their Shimmering Facial Whip in the shade Spotlight. This is a very, very, very intense highlighter. It's also a cream product, so you do need to work very quickly. I'll go ahead and do a small dot right there. Actually, that's more than enough right there. These retail for a dollar on the e.l.f. website. Like, look how beautiful that is. If you're someone who likes the more intense highlighter, this one's definitely going to be the one for you. And because it is a cream product, it is very, very long wearing. Again, this product retails for $1, which is an incredible deal for how good this is. And they also have more peachy shades, they have more pinky shades if you want those. The only con about this product is the fact that the scent of it, when you first get it out of the bottle, is very, very intense. It's a very, very chemically scent, but that scent goes away with wear. Alright guys, we're down to our last three products, and this next one is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. As you guys know, Wet n Wild released two different highlighters summer of last year, and the world went nuts for them. I myself was definitely one of those nutsos who went to the store and stalked every single Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS looking for these. After weeks of looking for these and stalking every single drugstore I went to to find them, I finally found mine in my local Rite Aid and maybe like like two weeks after these were first released and I've been loving this one ever since it's such a beautiful highlighter so I'll go ahead and swatch on my finger and we'll put this one right there like look how beautiful it is 
The last Wet n Wild highlighter I've been loving for the past few months has been the Color Icon Rainbow Highlighter in Unicorn Glow. This is actually one of the highlighters I have on my cheek right now because I went with more of a purple look. I wanted to use a purple highlighter and that is what I have on my cheeks right now and I'm so in love with it so much. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and pick up some of these colors so you can see what it looks like. We'll put this one right there. Like, look how pretty that is. It may look like it's a very intense highlighter, but look how beautiful it looks on the skin. All right, guys, and that brings us to our very last highlighter in this video. So this last one is the Palladio I'm Glowing Creamy Stick Luminizer in the shade Stunner. This one, I will admit, is a recent addition to my collection. However, I've been so in love with how beautiful and natural this highlight looks on the skin that I had to include it in this video. So I'll go ahead and swatch it right here for you guys. You can see how intense it looks right there, but once you blend it out, it really does become a very, very natural glow from within kind of highlight, which I have found myself really appreciating more often than not recently. And because it is a cream product, it definitely has a nice length of wear time. I want to say I've had it on my face for a total of maybe like six to eight hours and that's without seeing any dullness come to my face. But with that being said guys, that was all of my top 10 favorite highlighters from the drugstore. If you have any suggestions or requests to see any of these products used in a tutorial, leave them down below and of course recommend me some more highlighters. I'm always looking for some more glow product and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys next video. I love you so much. Bye.